All right, we're going to watch Wen Chu's freestyle here underwater. Wen Chu's beginning to your stroke here. A couple things we're seeing real quick is your hand entry is just so good as far as catching early water. You do a good job of really, really grabbing that water early. As you get to that breath here, you can see that your hand is still entering right at that shoulder width apart, which is fantastic. We see sometimes kids cross over the middle of their body when they take that breath. You do a great job of keeping your arm right in line with where you need to keep that entry. And you can see that your hands are open a little bit with a fingertip entry. When you, that's outstanding. We want to see that all the time. As you catch that water, you can see that as your hand is starting to fall in the water, you've got a nice little bend in your elbow here. You're trying to keep that hand closer to your core, which really does help generate a lot more speed and strength all the way through that freestyle. As you start to turn your head down, you're a little late. You can see right here, you're looking to the side and that fingertip has just entered. Try to get that head down just a little bit quicker. All right, your breath above water looks fantastic, but you do need to drive it down and get your head back in the right position just a little bit sooner than what we're seeing here. As you do get in the water, you can see that hand grabs good water early. And again, you can kind of see here, let's scroll in a little bit. You can see that your hands are a little bit open, which is fantastic. That helps um, for a lot better grabbing of the water. Be careful with your eyes. Let's not look forward so much. Try to take those eyes and generate looking straight down. Okay, we talk about a lot when, when we're walking around the street, you don't look up when you walk, right? You always keep your head in a neutral position, looking straight ahead. Same idea in freestyle, keep your eyes looking down. As we get forward here, there's your head position is exactly where you need it to be. Okay, so you took that breath and you dropped your head up, and now you did a good job of dropping that head down. Figurative entry looks fantastic. On that breath, you can see it's a little more underwater, so it's interesting. So right here, your head position is in the right spot. Okay, you're looking down, but you're going to take a breath to this side of the pool, right? So let's watch what you do. As you get ready to start to take that breath, you turn your head to the right, and then you have to turn it all the way to the left. So you're kind of taking your head and going one direction and then swiveling it in the complete opposite direction to get that breath in. So do make sure you work on just taking the head and turning to one side. Don't turn to one side and then the other. Just turn to the side you're going to breathe on. You grab good water once you, again, like your fingertip entry here, like how your hands are open. That's fantastic. That's a perfect view of showing what we're talking about, having one goggle in the water. You have one goggle in the water right there, which is perfect. Okay, Everybody needs to be doing it just like you. Again, nice body line in the water here. You're right on top of the water, but again, you're looking forward. Remember to keep that head down. I think we're going to see that head come down here in a second. Good legs all the way through, Wenchu. That looks fantastic. Sorry, we're going to rewind that a little bit. You, know, you got a little bit close. As we see that turn here. Okay, you've got your hands, your hips. You can see that your hands are pointing up. Remember, at this point here, we want to point those hands down. The reason we want to point those hands down, we want to take your hands from your hips and almost like you're throwing water at your face. So you want to drive your hands towards your face into your streamline so you keep your hands close to your body. What you tend to do here is as you go into your flip, upper body looks great. This looks good. But look at how wide your hands are out to the side. Okay, you've got two of the three spots perfect. If you had those hands close to your head position and pushing a little bit more into the streamline already, you would be awesome. All right, you can see how you got your elbows now to your side, your hands are way to the side, and now you're kind of looking a little crooked to the side there. So get those hands up. Just like we say, throw water toward your face, get in that streamline. As we come off the wall here, that's a good streamline one shoe, good legs. That's a great body line coming off that wall. You could go a little deeper maybe. You're kind of pushing up, come down a little bit, get underneath your wake that you just brought into that water. But all in all, that's a pretty good job of coming off the wall. Hold that streamlined dolphin kick a little bit. And remember, we want to see how many dolphin kicks, three or four, right? And then break into flutter. So while above water, we did a great job of getting the flags. Here, we're a little bit short. You're about a, 
almost a half a body length away from those flags. Make sure you keep your head down and make sure you get a little bit further off that wall. Okay. Good breakout though. You're right in your stroke there. You're not taking a breath for the third stroke. Tracy would be thrilled. We're all happy with that. So keep that up and good steady legs, won't you? Keep up the hard work, buddy.